What's up guys? Welcome back to the review space and today we have another wrestling discussion, hot topics discussion and we're gonna talk about, well it's, this is gonna be a preview of TLC this Sunday, uh, WWE TLC, the pay-per-view and this is gonna be the final pay-per-view of course uh, for the WWE. Uh, so let's get down straight to it, let's talk about the matches and who I think will win. Alright, we got Mark Henry, the champion world champion going up against Big Show. It's a chairs match for the World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> huh. A chairs match? Now, I mean, I don't really... What is the rules behind this match? I haven't seen a lot of these TLC pay-per-views at all. I, it's just, just like... I'm assuming they're allowed to use chairs and obviously you can win via pinfall. Um, but basically the gimmick is that people are going to be smacked uh, smashing the chairs over each other so I guess Big Show and Mark Henry will be utilizing that gimmick and so it'll feel like a little bit more extreme than the normal average match wow this is this is another rematch actually it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting how how much um, they have been able to make this last this Big Show Mark Henry feud ever since Big Show came back and then you know he's been trying to beat Mark Henry and get back at him but Mark Henry's been able to somehow one way or another retain that gold belt now hopefully I, I mean I want Mark Henry to win this I want him to retain and keep going although I am hearing that he is maybe he's injured oh no I mean this this could be a big deal well, I haven't confirmed it. Uh, I did hear that he might be injured, Mark Henry legit, but I don't know about that. I can only hope that he wins it. You know, I want Mark Henry to retain and I want him to keep going into 2012 as the world champion. If Big Show win wins it, I don't know. I just don't... S I mean, it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be a terrible win. I mean, Big Show as the big gold belt carrier... Maybe he can feud da with da Daniel Bryan and build off their, you know, they had some interaction in 2011, you know, um, regarding the money in the bank thing. But so so there could be that chemistry there between Big Show and Daniel Bryan where it's like babyface versus babyface. Or maybe one of them turns heel, maybe Big Show becomes the monster and, you, you know, kind of be that, this dominant guy, kind of replace Mark Henry as the new dominant guy. But I do want Mark Henry to retain this. All right. Uh, second match, Triple H against Kevin Nash. Oh, snap. I'm not really too excited about this whole feud, uh, I'll be honest. I mean, this isn't... I I mean, it's two old guys that are going up against each other. Granted, you know, Triple H is still... He can still carry a good match. You know, he can still go in the ring. But Kevin Nash, he's really, really slow. He's about 10 years past his prime, and that's, I mean, that's no smart mark thing. That's, that's a real thing. He hasn't, when's the last time he's actually had an amazing match? The, the only thing I can say is that these two are click buddies. These guys are best friends in real life. They know each other. They're best buds. You know, they came up together. They, um, um, they both have a mind for psychology. They know how to work in the ring and kind of at least tell a story. Now the stipulations of this match is that it's going to be a sledgehammer ladder match. A sledgehammer ladder match! So the sledgehammer will be hung above the ring and can be used as a weapon once a participant grabs it. The winner will be decided by pinfall or submission. Oh great, so the story here is I guess Kevin Nash because he's got longer arms. He'll, he's, t he's a taller guy, he can probably reach um, the sledgehammer quicker and you know he, he would get the advantage and so he might use it against trips the the truth here is that that this is pretty much triple h's match though that's his weapon that's his signature weapon so i think triple h will get some kind of vengeance he will get at kevin nash i mean he'll he'll definitely get him get at him um kevin nash will probably look a bit stronger though because they are friends and triple h want to make look want to make kevin nash look strong and so i have a i have a bad feeling that it's just gonna keep going like this feud is just gonna keep continuing like this is just the beginning of this whole feud um doesn't seem like they're gonna stop this feud anytime soon and maybe able it'll, it'll carry all the way into 2012 and that's kind of a problem for me because as good as Kevin Nash is on the mic and he can cut a good promo, 
I mean, it's just like, I, I, as far as match quality, I don't expect this to have any. All right. Next, next up, we got Dolph Ziggler against Zack Ryder for the United States Champion. It's a singles match. Okay. This one, I mean, ah, uh, man. I think pretty much everybody wants Zack Ryder to win this. You know, instead of Dolph retaining. I mean, Dolph has been the U.S. Champion for how long now? Um, and... It's, I think it's about time that he gets that belt off of him. I mean, he's been the United States champion for a very long time. And it's time for him to move on and finally become a world title contender. And, you know, have that title shot. Have that ability, you know, that potential to be realized and finally break away from this, you know, this stable, this whatever tag team with uh, Jack Swagger and break away from Vicky Guerrero. As far as Zack Ryder, Zack Ryder is obviously the fan favorite here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Zack Ryder chants, you know, uh, in that match. And I hope he wins it. I do want him to win. I'm predicting that Zack Ryder wins. But I still ha I have this feeling that Dolph Ziggler might actually retain this. But there is that chance that Zack Ryder can win. Because right now, Zack Ryder is a very legitimate opponent. Um, he's been very convincing. He can win this. So I'm, I'm rooting for Zack. All right, match number four. Uh, we got Randy Orton against Wade Barrett. And this is just a, this is a tables match. And they've been having a feud now, a uh, very recent feud. Um, Wade is going on into his uh, the Barrett barrage. And he's kind of this mid-carder now finally being pushed against a, a top contender like Randy Orton. And... Kind of, kind of looking convincing, kind of looking like, okay, this guy can be that next big star. You know, this, this guy has potential to be a, the next top heel. Considering how Randy's been booked in the past month or so, you know, he has been losing matches here and there. And Wade Barrett has looked a lot stronger um, since, really since last year. I would give this to Wade. Um, it just makes perfect sense. Him putting Randy Orton through a table... It'll make Wade Barrett look stronger, and it'll make him look even more of a, you know, a heel type of character that's a bit more established, and they can finally, you know, push this guy. And, you know, in the long term, looking in the long run situation of this, Wade Barrett can be one of these, you know, invested guys, you know, uh, WWE invest time and, and money and push into this character and finally have him pay off somewhere down the road because he's a top, you know, established champion or a top established uh, heel star. This is the one that I can't, I can't call this one. This is a bit tough because Randy can beat Wade, but then Wade can c still come out looking strong by being this very tough guy. But all this time that they've invested in Wade, I'm going to have to go with Wade. I think Wade should win this and he will, he probably will win this. All right, match number five. CM Punk, who is the WWE champ against The Miz and against Alberto Del Rio in a triple threat, tables, ladders, and chairs for the... Okay. So it's a triple threat TLC. I don't think we've ever seen this one, so this this is a first time, I think. Uh, uh, CM Punk's going to retain. I mean, I'm just going to say it. CM, I predict him to retain it. The Miz, I don't see him winning it. Alberto, I don't see him winning it. Alberto's already held it twice this year. The Miz has had a pretty long run at the beginning of this year. Uh, CM Punk, this is sort of his time. This is his moment. This is his run. And he'll carry this belt all the way into 2012. And he might actually retain it at WrestleMania um, if he uh, ca uh, defends it at WrestleMania uh, next year. All right. Uh, match number six is Cody Rhodes uh, against Booker T for the IC Champion. Are you kidding me? This match, I, I don't know. This one is a little bit like shady. I mean, it's it's great that Cody Rhodes is at a pay per view and he's defending the IC belt, but it's against Booker T. Booker T has he's had that championship before and he's been champion and he's had his moment. Now, granted, we haven't seen Booker T in the ring in a very long time in the WWE ring, I should say. But I mean. I, besides the fact that Cody has been antagonizing Booker T and besides the fact that, oh, well, Booker T's this beloved face and he's a commentator and now he's, he might get his revenge. I, I can see this where Booker T wins the match by via disqualification. 
and Cody Rhodes retaining, still retaining the belt, but losing the match. So that's probably a very likely scenario. Either that or Cody Rhodes will just defeat Booker T outright by cheating or something like that. Some kind of shady finish where Cody still, you know, he wins the match and then he retains the IC belt. Um, because uh, what? <sighs> there's nothing to gain with Booker T winning the IC belt. I mean, Cody Rhodes is more, he, he is a future star. He, he is a star, but he's a future champion. Um, he's a future world champion. So to, to invest in Cody Rhodes, it's a much better decision to actually make him look stronger, make him look like convincing heel, make him look the better opponent. This match should be about Cody Rhodes instead of um, kind of, putting the focus on Booker T and I don't think they will put the focus on Booker T I think that this is going to be a way for Booker T to kind of push Cody Rhodes to kind of help Cody Rhodes get over as a top heel alright so that's it for my predictions for TLC those have been those are the matches that have been announced so far I don't know if that is the final card that's the I don't know if th those are the only matches that's gonna appear uh, I don't know what else is in store with this pay-per-view but it should be it should be a very interesting pay-per-view the, the card itself there's a few uh, belts uh, for, for um, you know a few belts are on the line and uh, some some titles could change hands um, especially the uh, United States Championship um, that's probably the match I'm best looking forward the, the Zack Ryder and Dolph Ziggler match should be a very very good match so all right, that's it for this uh, episode of Review, Review Space. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. What are your predictions for TLC? So, until next time. Ciao!